Look who's here. Hola. Hola. She's teaching me Spanish. I'm not learning very well, but we're working on it. One day. One day. It could happen. <laughs> I don't know. What'd you girl. learn today? Adi, ad, Adios mio. Adios mio. <laughs> We're out here braving a storm, y'all. <laughs> like, seriously. It was not raining all day, and I put on this cute little fit because I was trying to be cute and in fit. <laughs> an outfit. An in fit from that, that thing. I know, but it, we're going out, so it's an outfit. Well, She'll put it, you'll put it on your infant later. Okay, that's true. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay. But um, what was I trying to say, y'all? Oh, <laughs> she's and I was like, oh, I'm going to be really cute. Molly tells me, oh, it's raining. See, you can go here, but I don't I don't know which one. I think it says go straight. Where the anthrop closest to where the yeah. anthropology is. Yep, so La Country Park went 0.7 miles. Okay. Oh, I'll holler at you. All right. You got me, girl. New you phone. got my bed. Oh yeah, she's got a new phone, y'all. She finally came up to far. <laughs> like as in like she made it to the 20th century. <laughs> we will we will we'll discuss that in another I whole like video. Antiques. Okay. She, yeah, she's really into antiques and her phone was antique. <laughs> I think it was like the first iPhone that ever came out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next. Right. Yeah, so we're gonna take this one up here. But yeah, so anyway, it was like totally like not raining, the sun was out, and then I put on this cute little fit, and I was like, I'm going to be cute today out of La Candera. Now I'm going to be freezing out of La Candera, because it's raining, and I have on shorts. But I'm still going to be cute, okay? She's still cute. She's still cute. I'm trying to think where is Anthropon. I don't know if I've ever even. So I didn't know they had here. one over here. It must be a nice yet. store. Not at this light, right? Nope. Keep going straight. All right, y'all. We got to figure out where we're going. We'll chat with y'all later. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. This is my last week of full time work. And then next week, we have the holiday. And I come back, I think for two days. And then after the two days, a full time, I go to part time. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm full time. And then Thursday and Friday, I go part time. Whew. Long time coming, y'all. Long time coming. What y'all think about my sunnies? I pulled out my Ray Bans. I get so wrapped up in those little cutesy, 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 cutesy <laughs> sunglasses from Amazon. And this morning I was like, I think I'm gonna put on my Ray-Bans. I love these guys. They're so cute, right? They are truly, truly cute. This is, or yeah, yeah, my second pair of Ray-Bans that I've ever owned. My first pair, I love those glasses because they were the traditional Ray-Bans from, you know, like that we had, like, I don't know, back in the day. But mine stretched like way out of, out of whack. And I'm like, I wish there was something I can do. I need to like contact Ray-Ban and see is there anything I can do? Because I do love those glasses. Like, I love them because they're, you know, they're like, they're vintage. But yet, they're, like, it's a vintage look that will never go out of style. I don't have them here. I'd show them to you. I wanted to just come on and say hello. Show you all these cute little earrings I have on. These are by Zapata. Do you all own any Zapata jewelry? Are there any representatives out there? Back in the day, I went to so many Zapata parties. That's kind of like a tongue twister. <laughs> I edit out a lot of me trying to say that. Okay, I'm just going to keep it real. But um, yeah, and every once in a while, I look at my Zapata jewelry and I'm just like, ah, cute. I got to wear it. So today, because I'm wearing like a lucky top and make sure you're watching my YouTube shorts because you'll see this OOTD on there. But I just thought it looked kind of cute with um, the way I put my outfit together today. I did the flowers with the stripes and I have on my old Spinks leggings, the ones that that aren't really full leather leather anymore. They're more like material. But I love these leggings because they just, I don't know, they get so many compliments because people can't figure out what they are. And I love them. But yeah, so I wanted to put these on. I thought they were really, really cute. Makeup is looking good. Take the glasses off so you can see. I did do my nails, y'all. So I did my nails in Funny Bunny. I... I get caught up sometimes, and y'all know, like, when you wear white, us brown girls, 
get our makeup on white polished. And I guess it shows more than any other color that I wear. Because whenever I have on any type of white polish, I always see like my my foundation, you know, or whatever. So anyway, but yeah, so I did my nails in Funny Bunny. I've been like experimenting with, which is probably not good. I'm experimenting with some of the YouTubers some of the stuff that they have. I've always wanted to wear Funny Bunny and I think I did buy it. I was trying to, like when I bought it, I was like, do I have this in my collection? After I polished them last night, I realized what I had did. I actually bought this, it was streaky and I returned it. So yesterday when Molly and I left to go out, I had only put on two coats of this and it was very streaky looking and I knew it was, but I was like, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna play with it and see. And I got home and I put on like, I think two, maybe three more coats of this polish. I don't remember exactly how many, but it actually made it a lot better. I mean, I still think it's got some, some vibes to it that is definitely like, you probably can see a little bit of streakiness going on. I don't know for sure, but I, I like it now. So anyway, I'm gonna keep it. All right, y'all, chat with you later. Look what the Amazon fairy left me. <laughs> oh my, three boxes, whatever could it be? Look at this mess on the floor. I just filmed an Amazon travel video. I'm really excited about getting it edited and getting it up, but I made a mess on my floor. <laughs> there are a few things that aren't travel that I didn't show in that video. But I will show probably just to you all at some point or another. But you all know I'm all about these items that's going to make me look thinner. So, yeah. I picked up a few more things. And I'm really excited about this little makeup bag. I can't wait to put my makeup in it. And hopefully it's going to work out the way I want it to. So, I will tell you all. I mentioned it on the, the video that I just recorded. But I would love to do a, a video where I am placing my makeup inside of this. And maybe it won't be like its own video, but maybe I'll put it like in a vlog or something like that. Who knows? Maybe it'll end up going in this vlog. Maybe I'll do it tonight because I'm all excited about using it. And so if I'm going to use it, I want to record myself putting my stuff in it. So yeah, but right now, right now I'm actually going to walk into my room in here and start my workout, y'all. It is, what time is it in the evening? Oh my, it's almost seven o'clock and uh, yeah, so I need to get on my treadmill and get my workout on. I am dressed in some weird clothes to work out in, but that's the pleasure of working out in your home. You just put on whatever you have. I'm about to put on some pink sneakers with this outfit. <laughs> so anyway, I will check in with you all after my workout. Okay, friends, I am done with my workout. It was a three miler. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I didn't take my makeup off my face, but I did prepare myself for bed, you know, quick shower and all that fun stuff. But I didn't take my makeup off my face because I figured if I'm going to come on camera again, the least I can do is halfway look presentable. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you all. I'm actually using a mic. I'm hoping that this is going to be much better. I'm like talking into the mic now, speaking to the mic, speaking to the mic. <laughs> yeah, I know this girl is crazy, but it is something that I just actually got in from Amazon today and I don't know. Oh, here it is. It's this cute little mic set. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I wanted to test it out so I can listen to the footage afterwards to see if it sounds any different. Um, but it's a little case and it comes with two mics and then it comes with a little adapter that I stick into my phone and I have it in there. And then of course it comes with a little um, charging cord as well. So I'm excited about seeing how this works. I'm hoping that it is giving me a more, I don't know, professional sound maybe. But anyway, that is not all that we came here to talk about. But I did want to address that since I am wearing a cute little mic and I'm hitting it. So it's probably making noise when I hit it. If that's the case, y'all, I do apologize. Let's see. I might have y'all a little bit crooked. So I got this cute little makeup bag from Amazon. It is going to be in my travel essential haul uh, video that will be either, it will not be up before this one will, I don't think, because I, I'm i doing a lot of recording today, to be honest with y'all. I'm feeling the vibe of recording. So I like I said, I just recorded that, but I don't think it's going to go up before this one. But anyway, you'll get a sneak peek of this 
earlier than some of the other people that will only watch that video because it's talking about Amazon travel must have. So anyway, I got this, um, like I said, from Amazon. It is such a cute little case. It is one of the cases that's all the crave on TikTok. It's in Amazon. It's in everybody's travel vlog. And there's various versions of these, but I particularly like this version better. I like this color and I kind of like one of the aspects about it that I'm going to share with you all in just a moment. But yeah, so I am going to transfer my makeup, which right now I have my makeup in a basket. I actually got this one from Amazon not too long ago. Oh, wow. Look how dirty that's gotten on the bottom. I guess I need to wash it. This one is machine washable. So what I probably will do is now that I'm going to be transferring things, I probably will give this a good washing and then I'm going to, I'm going to keep her because I do find that she's handy, but I just, I don't know. It was just hard getting everything out of it. It didn't work exactly how I wanted it to. And then when I was seeing these on TikTok, like at Christmas time on Facebook, they were, there was a brand that was showing them over and over and over again. And I kind of wanted to order one from there, but I never did. And then I was a little bit leery because it was one of those Facebook ads, you know how that goes. But it is one of the makeup bags that actually opens all the way up and then it, it will, okay, I'll hold my hand up here because if I put it on the table, you can't see it. But it's one of those ones that will lay completely flat. And then you've got a side where you can put makeup. Some people put makeup brushes on the other side. Some people put skincare on one side, makeup on the other side. This girl will probably do makeup and makeup because I do have another little concoction <laughs> that I am going to use for traveling for my makeup brushes. And that being said, I am going to end up maybe putting my day-to-day -day brushes in this little concoction, which is so old. It is from Sigma. I got, gosh, you know, way back in the day when that makeup brand was really popular. I don't even know. Are they still popular anymore? I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to just day to day have my makeup brushes in here where I can just grab it out of my uh, closet and then just use them. And then the ones that I usually travel with or like when I get ready to travel, just move these from here and put them inside my makeup bag. Because honestly, y'all, I'm not using that many makeup brushes. I literally use about four brushes and that's it. So and I like the ones that I'm using. So I'm probably going to continue to use those for traveling as well as use them in the house. So anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and put my makeup inside of my little um, makeup bag for y'all because I really wanted to do it tonight. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and include this in the vlog. And if anybody is watching, they might, you know, want to partake or whatever. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our makeup inside of this little makeup bag right here. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because I want y'all to see what I'm putting inside. But at the same time, I don't know if you'll be able to do it if I am looking into the camera. What I liked about this bag is the fact that it is completely sewn on the bottom. And a lot of the other ones were where it like things to slide under. So from, from one side to the other. And I like that these are truly two separate compartments. And then you've got your little... Um, side over here and then you've got your little side over here so yeah so anyway I really like that about that one and that's why I got this one versus some of the other ones it is a faux leather I don't when I first took it out of the bag I kind of felt like it felt kind of cheap but now that I've looked at it a little bit more I think it's just kind of grown on me I just think I don't know what I was expecting at first but um and I do love the little singing on it it says enjoy the process of love. I thought that was so precious. I love the color on the inside. I think it's going to be good for us brown girl makeup because as you can see, it's kind of like, of course, not the color of my skin, but I think when some of my brown girl makeup get on the inside of this, that it's going to not show as much. So anyway, I am going to put some makeup inside of my makeup bag. I'm so excited, y'all. I just cannot wait. Like, I don't even know what to do because I really got a mess. And I'll be honest with y'all, I have been trying uh, I've been trying some foundations. I'm almost out of my um, Makeup Forever foundation. And y'all know I am really trying not to have like backups of backups of backups because I went through that phase. I got all the bruises from it and I don't want to go through that phase anymore. But um, I did want to know that in the summertime, I try to find makeups. It was going to be summer. I wanted to have something that had 
SPF in it. And so I went on the quest to find SPF type foundations as well as maybe like a BB cream, a CC cream, or, you know, I don't know, a, a tint or something that I can use on my face in the summer. And then I also was thinking about the trips that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be at the beach. I'm going to be at the river. And when I'm at the river with my family, there is truly no need to put on makeup because we're literally camping. So, um, but I also wanted to have a good SPF for my face, but I didn't want something that was really like foundation-y. So I, anyway, I, I, I did some purchases throughout the last, I guess, few weeks um, just trying to figure out a process of how I wanted that to go. So when I, this is going to be my day-to-day -day pack makeup as well as my travel makeup because I really don't see me fluctuating from what I use day-to-day -to, -day to what I travel with because I want to have makeup of all, for all occasions when I travel, especially um, when I go see my husband, which I will be doing that sometime in the near future. We won't say exactly when, but I am going to be going sometime in the near future and, um, you know, I get myself into all kinds of things when I'm with him. So I need makeup for all kinds of situations. And this will be something that I would not take with me when I go to um, the river because there would not be a need to take this. That's probably when I will take like this bag. I will just have this bag with maybe some skincare in there, maybe some, you know, one of my little SPF things that I have, that type of thing. But we'll deal with that at another time. I'm talking a whole lot and I haven't even got started yet. So anyway, I just want to share these foundation things with you that I got. So um, I, I'm like, oh, where do I start from? Where do I start from? So because I was almost out of my uh, makeup forever and I wanted to try different foundation, like I said, I am, I want to explore different ones versus always getting the same one because I'm not doing backups. And so I wanted to be able to say, okay, I tried this one, I tried that one, and then maybe come up with one that I will repurchase or whatever. As of right now, I would not repurchase this particular shade. I won't say I wouldn't repurchase the foundation, but this shade I found was not working for me. It oxidized and so it did get a little dark on me. However, it might be perfect for me for the summer. So well, I don't know, we'll have to think about that. But I did get this, um, I showed this in one of my hauls. I got the Too Faced Foundation. Y'all, I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of loving it. I got it in a very odd color that I don't think I would have ever thought to get this color, but it matches my skin perfectly. So that is going to go in my bag. And let's see, I'm going to place that in there. I mentioned that I was on the hunt for SPS. I'm about to burn up in here, y'all. Okay, let's get some, whoo, hot flashes coming on. Let's get some water. And I had, I had a, I think I said that I had a three mile walk. And so that really got me going. Make sure you stay hydrated. I mentioned that I was looking for like an SPF, a skin tint or something, whatever. I don't know. I just know I wanted something that was going to protect me from the sun. I'm going to put my glasses on. This is a Born This Way. It's by Too Faced. Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30. This is a moisturizing skin tint y'all bomb.com love it it has great coverage i have played around with all of these things that i'm going to show you and i okay let's take those off i honestly love them all so as of right now i would totally repurchase any of the items that i'm going to show you okay <laughs> so i got this spf because like i said needed something for the summer and this is something that i will wear mostly when i'm at the beach when i'm in myrtle beach because I will be out in the sun pretty much probably every day and I know that this will come in handy. So I, that is the main reason why I wanted this. And of course, like, you know, like I said, SPF for the summer. This one, I, I don't know if I'll take it because I'm thinking all of these bottles are glass and they're heavy. This one is plastic, which I love, but bottles are heavy. And I guess I could actually take this as my carry on, which I probably will because nothing will be over the 3.4 ounces. So yeah, I probably will do that. So those two are going to go in my bag. And, and then let me show you this one first. This is the Nude Sticks and this is SPF 30. And this is a sunscreen daily mineral veil. Now I kind of stumbled into this. I was in Sephora. I did a return and I saw this on the shelf. And I was like, oh, wow, what is this? Like, I seriously have not ever heard of this before. I've heard of the nude sticks, but I did not realize they had like all of this going for it. And so I was like, hey, they, they showed a brown girl on there. <laughs> and y'all know how we, we ladies, we brown girls get excited when we see brown girls on, 
on various makeup brands because like, you know, often we get kind of left out in certain things. So I saw this and I thought, oh, is this something that I could possibly get for me? So they had, of course, you know, the little one that you can test. I tested it and I thought it rubbed right into my skin, yet it was a brown tint. So it kind of like, it didn't leave like a white residue. It didn't leave like, made me look pale or anything. It like rubbed into my skin, gave me like a smooth finish but not really any color. I, I don't, I'm probably not describing that the best. I tried it and I thought, oh my goodness, I might need to get this. So I went on and got it. And I think this is going to be my river item. I got this last summer for the river and I realized that it really is too pretty for the river actually, because it gave me such a pretty glow. But then I was kind of like, I don't know. It just made me feel because it didn't have color and it gave me glow. I felt like it just gave me like too much of a shine to just be hanging out at the river. So I kind of like this to go underneath stuff versus just by itself. Or if I, you know, I don't know this, I'm kind of undecided on, but you know, I've, already, I've had it, I use it, blah, blah, blah. But this is going to be my river foundation or my ri river mineral veil as they call it. But I will be packing that to take with me to Myrtle beach as well probably going to go ahead and take this with me to Myrtle Beach. For sure, it's going to go in my bag for right now because it's something that I will very, I will use on any given day at any given time. Now this, okay, so this item is something that everybody was talking about on YouTube. <laughs> everybody was talking about it on YouTube and I'm sure it was on TikTok because every time I tried to get this item, it was sold out. And, and I'm thinking maybe it wasn't so much that it was sold out, but maybe Ulta didn't have it yet. I don't know. I never could find it in Ulta, put it that way. And the other day, I randomly walked into the Ulta, the one that was over by the Forum, which is the new one. And there she sat, y'all. So I grabbed her up, and I was like, oh, yeah, she coming with me. There was one left, and it was my perfect shade. It is a perfect match to my skin. I have worn this by itself. I've worn it underneath things. I love the glow that it gives. It gives enough coverage to go by itself glass bottle yes so i'm like do i dare take all of these with me to myrtle beach i don't know but they're going in my bag anyway so i think what i might end up doing is having one side for like foundations and stuff like that because if you see like right now one side is pretty much almost full and i've got nothing but foundations in it but in the summer months i have to have all of these kinds of things you know what i'm saying this is just one of those um this is from rare beauty and this is just a glow like under your makeup th type of thing which has no spf or anything like that in it but i got it because i wanted to try it out and i actually really do like it so i'm gonna put that on i'm gonna put that on the side with the foundation because I, I think i'm gonna make that side kind of like the base like well it's all you know what i'm saying like base type stuff and then y'all don't be looking at this because this stuff is going to have all kinds of fingerprints on it because we brown girls be messing up our makeup y'all and we got to come up with a better way i look at some of my makeup and i think oh my god how can i even let anybody see this this is my mac studio fix powder y'all i have been loving this i forgot how much i used to love mac studio fix powder and i'm gonna put that on on this side so right now i've got foundations and all kind of like um base like the base makeup products on one side and then I've got powders and blushes and stuff will be on the other side and then okay and so I have like pencils like this I'm gonna put in the zipper part in the middle like this is my eyebrow pencil this is an eyebrow like gel type stuff I'm gonna put that in the middle an eyeliner that's gonna go in the middle and then I think like this is a pencil sharpener I'm gonna put it in one of my little pockets on the side and then my little powder puff y'all these things are the bomb.com I use these with my Mac, with my Mac fix plus y'all I put it under my eye I pat oh I love these things I think I'm gonna put that right in that other little pocket no, y'all can't see all that that's going oh my gosh got the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm freaking loving it, y'all. I am freaking loving it. This one I got in the color Butterscotch or Butter Somebody. And it is perfect for under my eye, which is technically darker than the foundation. 
that I'm wearing, which is kind of weird, but they somehow or another make a great combination. So that's going to go on the side with the foundations. I've got my mascaras and I have two mascaras that I use right now. I only have a few lipsticks that I actually use. Um, so I'm going to put my lipsticks. I don't know. I guess I'll put them on that side as well. So right now I'm going to try to hold this up to the camera the best I can. So right now I've got like all of my face products as far as the foundation, the base of my face is going to be on this side. And then the more glamorous part of my face will go on this side. I've got my um, pencil sharpener in here. I've got my little, my little press powder pad stuck down in there. This little zipper right here. I've got, like I said, I've got my pencils and whatnot is going to be in there. And then I can just zip her up just like that. And so now I'm going to try to zip her up and see how this works. Like if, if this is as ebb and flow as they make it seem. I'm trying to do this the easiest way I can do this. Let's see. All right. Well, it doesn't zip that easy. I can tell y'all that. <laughs> the way they make it sound like, you know, they be like, oh, and you just zip it right on up. Okay, so... Okay, so now everything is inside this little pouch. And then I want to unzip her because I want to see if when I unzip her, everything is as separate as it was when I zipped it. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's not because I, I honestly felt like I, I felt stuff kind of wobbling from one side to the other, which I'm quite sure, especially through a plane ride and going through an airport, it probably really will fluctuate. But as of right now, this is everything that I use on my face and it all fit in here so perfectly. And I think this is going to work perfect as my carry on because I think it's going to um, be okay because it doesn't have anything over three ounces. So well, let's unzip her and see how... <gasps> Wow, y'all. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It made a liar out of me. Look at this. <laughs> of course, like I said, I didn't topple it around very much, but now I can like literally like if this, my hand was a table, I can just like have a little sit down on the countertop wherever I need to and do my makeup, y'all. I like it. I'm not sure if I'm liking the way you have to zip it up. I feel like it's a struggle. Like I think it should have had a zipper on both sides to make it easier, but it doesn't. So, you know, that's a little bit of a struggle, but I mean, you know, I can work with that. I, it, it won't, that won't kill me as they say, but I like it. I like it a lot and it will hold a lot more. So if I had to, recommend this at this point I, I totally will recommend it because I do think it's perfect I love the fact that it lays flat and you can see all your makeup and be able to get to everything very very quickly love you don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one